So what's up, guys? How y'all doing? How do you do, hey, it's, it, dude? It's been a long time since we've all recorded together, like the three of us. When was the last time we were talking about Stranger Things? Two years ago. I think this is the first time we've actually done all three audio, video. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah definitely, it? definitely video. Oh, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. We've just done phone stuff. Hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> Sorry. So, let's uh, dish into episode nine of One Division, man. The season finale. The end. The series yes. series finale. Yes, good correction. Yep. The series finale. <clears throat> Man, um, so I got kind of Troy's initial response. I haven't heard a word about art, so I'm going to start with you, Art. Man, just just hit me with it. Hit us with it. Would you? How you feeling? Enjoyed it. It. I enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a tearjerker towards the end. You know, I um, makes you wonder what's going to happen with White Vision. Mm. Um, I'm really, really thinking that Wanda's going to put vision in that body eventually they're gonna you know when when vision did his little vulcan mind meld with him and unlocked his memories i mean for all practical purposes he he might already be vision just yeah carbon carbon copy to his program you know uh yeah it was pretty good i I like seeing uh photons power um yeah it it changed colors first it was kind of bluish now it was orange yellowish that was kind of interesting Maybe she has different, you know, variations of it. I don't know, but it was cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool that she has Agatha pretty much. Anytime she's got a, you know, she's she's her her magic Google. Anytime she's got a question, (laughs) she can just go and unlock her and pick her brain. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck Hayward, by the way. This motherfucker's about to shoot kids. I mean, I know they're not real. I know they're not real, but still, like, bro, come. That's some dirty shit, man. That's some dirty shit. I mean, I'm assuming with this, we're we're just going all out spoilers wise and everything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the scroll thing was great. Yeah, it was. It that was. was amazing. That's gonna, you know, I was expecting um, Nick Fury to be there, but she's just an emissary for Nick Fury. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So uh, she's gonna go, you know, join them up there and uh, or Talos, but I think it is Nick Fury. I agree. Yeah, Nick Fury. yeah, yeah. With, uh, with Scarlet Witch reading the dark hole, she dude, she. <laughs> That's that's the thing, man. It's it's what threw me for a loop was I get, you know, she's she's learning it. She's studying it, which is probably kind of dangerous. But what threw me for a loop is the kids. Like when she heard the kids, like, how the fuck is that possible? You know, is it? Kids what do you mean different- when she heard the kids? When she heard her kids calling for help. Oh, she was the, reading the, the dark. Yeah. Holes? Like because Mephisto has the kids. Oh, don't even don't even don't even bring up Mephisto. How, don't how, even. How- how did you get Mephisto has the kids? Mephisto has the kids, man. The kid, no, the kids were just made up out of her, her thought. That's why when the red went away, the kids and Vision went away. Right. But that's what I'm saying. How how are they able to? How could she still hear them? Is it just in her head, or are they like in another reality? Or that was interesting. I but kind of confused. If you want to go back even further, remember Mephisto touched her a long time ago. Not in MCU. We don't know that yet. <coughs> Right, but Mephisto put the chaos magic in her a long fucking time ago, as potential out to get back. Right, Orcathone, Orcathone. One of them well, touched her. Well, according to like to canon and Marvel, it's it's Mephisto. But yeah, but wasn't Cthone like the owner of the Darkhold? And he Cthone's like, wrote Darkhold. Yeah, so Strange yeah. owned the Darkhold too at some point. Yeah, but yeah. Did you guys actually? And I don't mean this to be snotty. Whatever. Yeah. Did you, actually read, did you actually read House of M? I have not yet. You're going to loan it to me, though. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with it. Okay, at the I, very, I, at, I'm not at the very end when Strange has to come in and kind of fix everything up, right? Right. He, uh, you know, uh, Ms. Marvel is, you know, fighting for her friends. You know, it's like, don't kill her, don't kill her. They think that's the only way out is to kill Scarlet Witch. Because she, she goes, she is in control of chaos magic she's in control of this magic and that magic so it's not really her doing it and strange drops a bombshell going i'm the sorcerer supreme i've studied ancient magic i know magic right right there are no other types of magic there's no such thing as chaos magic there's no such thing as black magic it's just all magic and how you choose to use it Hmm. oh whoa whoa interesting so Right. What what are the odds you think they're going to follow that into possibly Doctor Strange too? 
Because obviously, well, obviously, Wanda's in that movie. She has a big part. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think? She, do you think he's going to take her like under a mentorship role, help her try to control this power? Or do you think she's going to be like more of a villain type at first? Oh yeah. Got to. Oh, at first, yeah, there'll be, there'll be a conflict, but then he'll have to switch her over because they have history. That she's, he knows yeah. there's good in her and right all this crap. So right, because I, I don't, I don't think they would have her go through all this trouble just for her to be like a flat out villain and then fucking die. You know, I think. I think she'll be kind of redeemed in a way. And, um, you know, I, I got to say there was, you, you know, when they're in the sky and Agatha drained all of her power from her and she was kind of floating there for a second, for, for a brief second, I thought, no, no, don't tell me this is where strange shows up and saves her. Like I didn't want that. <laughs> I wanted Wanda to defeat her herself, you know, and luckily they didn't do that. So there's a brief moment. I was like, no, 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 don't bring strange in here, please. Nope. No, but yeah, I was, thought maybe uh, White Vision would have shown up or something. Where did he go, by yeah. the way? He just like he, he just got all he bolted. He just, just got all these memories all at one point, like his whole life's worth of memories. And yeah, he he dipped out, man. Yeah, I don't know. He's later. Where'd he go? You got to think he went to Avengers headquarters or something. Who knows, man? Maybe, maybe he went to Wakanda because that's where the last the place he asked where he died. I don't know, man. But that's the thing too is like, where do we see him again? Like in what what movie or series? Like, where would he fit? That's interesting to think about. Maybe Doctor Strange 2, does he show up and reunite with Wanda? I don't know. I think he will for sure. And I think yeah. he'll, he'll be a Dark Strange for sure. Some maybe, some regard. Yeah, yeah. maybe uh, maybe Strange uses him to snap her out of whatever. Yeah. To help, to help, cool. to help leverage her. Yeah. 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 That'd be cool. Well, no, I uh, I agree with Art, man. I, I, I love the episode. It was, it was better a second time. Um, a couple little things that was... Kind of obviously the Pietro thing was I thought was completely stupid, but it's fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's fucking dumb. I, I, hate I it. loved it because it bothers you all so much. It really doesn't bother me, honestly. It's just I get why they did that. Just to just fuck to fuck with, with the, the fans. fanboys. Yeah, it's, yeah. It didn't I, contribute no, I, to the story in any. It doesn't have to always article. contribute to the story. Look at what. Yeah. what look at what the, the act of the place vision did. He was like. You know, there's going to be a huge cameo. Someone I've always wanted to work with. So I was thinking <laughs> it's going to be this guy, this guy, this. It was him. Right. right that's different. Right. That's that's different. Though. It's, it's not, not different. It's yeah. It's it, 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 it one of the been, actors just kind of having a have, taking a piss on people. You know, taking the piss, which is joking. <laughs> which is, which it was it was it was a good troll job. It was a good troll job. It was great. Yeah, he troll. He trolled it. Yeah. It was it was good. You know, I uh, I'm not the type of guy. I know there are some people like this out there, but I'm not the type of guy where it's like, oh, I need it to be Fox Quicksilver. Or this show's just going to be ruined. Like, I don't really care. You know, it's no. I, I liked it. I just thought I'm, I'm I'm irritated by that and the the lack of the the engineer. the missed opportunity about the engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. I mean, yeah. they referenced it like over three fucking episodes. Yeah, and built yeah. it up. So it's like, mm, I think they missed some stuff. And I don't like how some of the people just. How they exited. I mean, I would like to have known how what happened. What's, what's up with Darcy next? What's up with Jimmy? What's up with the uh, yeah? I mean, where'd White yeah. Vision go? You know, he just kind of like you're the vision, he just fucking flies off. Yeah, I don't know. I it, mean, seems, it, it seems like there's a lot of loose strings out there, a lot of loose strands that will be made. Yeah, uh, th- we'll see them all again. We all know yeah, that, you the, know. The, the, you know, I'm I, I was telling this to Troy the other day, yeah, earlier it was that. I view these Disney films that they're doing as trailers for the movies. Yeah. They're all building like, up yeah. to that. So in keeping with that kind of idea, <clears throat> you know, they've been, they've been fucking with us for a long time. Remember when they were, they were putting out trailers for infinity war, mm-hmm. they showed all of them running in Wakanda and there's Hulk. So, Oh, it's going to be a great battle. Yeah. But it wasn't Hulk at all. It was Hulk as homeboy and Hulk buster who fell mm-hmm. down over and over again. You know, they kept teasing that. So I, yeah, they, they're just teasing us, Troy. You know, you'd like to be teased. Yeah. Give me more than just the tip, though, man. I want the shaft and the balls on it all. Well, I, I get it, though. You know, it's like <laughs> it's 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 mostly Wanda's story. You know, we got her resolution to it. You know, as far as the other people like Jimmy, you know, I'll, I will Jimmy will pop up again. Darcy will, you know, uh, Monica obviously will. You think that was I think that was more of a tie to Secret Invasion, the series, than it was to Captain Marvel 2. Or the or armor, the armor, what's it, the armor series, something like that? Arm, Ar- armor, Wars, armor Wars, Wars or something? Yeah. 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 But uh, no, other than that, I didn't really have any other issues with it. I thought it was kind of tear jerking, but. And how, I mean, so Sword has Stark technology because that, that was a little arc reactor in Vision's forehead. Yeah. So 
that's how he was doing all that stuff. But that was such a good, that was such a well written scene, man. When they're talking about the ships, you know, in the road. I, I did like that. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, and they're kind of floating a, and kind of yeah, yeah. Spinning about. I need more clarification or whatever he says. Yeah. I need more uh, elaborate. I need more elaborations. Is what he says. Yeah, yeah. And it was good. I actually dug it because I mean, how those two would would fight each other forever. No one would win. As uh-huh. soon as someone gets the upper hand, they fucking phase out. And now it's like, there's no... Like a stalemate, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just, yeah. it's not going to happen. It definitely, definitely was, scene was packed, or the episode was packed with action. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of cool action. The kids got into it, too. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that, that was cute. That was cute. Don't was forget, cute John Boner. Yeah. Ralph, Ralph Boner. Ralph Boner. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Yeah, it was, oh. yeah, I mean... That's that kind of the dumb. only, yeah. That was kind of the only part of the episode. I was like, really, this is what they're doing with? It? Okay, whatever, you know. But so, you know, and I and I, I mentioned this, Zach. So what's your opinion on this? Because I was talking to Art about it earlier um, at lunch. Even though he hadn't seen it yet, but he was like, I know all, I know what's happening. So he goes, cool. We gave him some spoilers. But and Art made the comment. He's like, oh well, you know, it's an illusion, man. They can do whatever they want with illusion. So why wouldn't Agatha Hart give him the illusion of the actual legit Quicksilver from this timeline? Instead of, oh, so I'm just irritated. Fuck that guy, dude. Well, she made a reference <laughs> to like she couldn't use the real body, her brother, because he was on another continent full of holes. And no, told me, illusion because illusion. Oh, you can oh. make anything you want to do. Because I was like, well, how is he running around so fast? He's like, well, it's illusion. Well, then he, if you could do that illusion, you can change the illusion of the appearance just as easy. Yeah, that was kind of confusing. Like they, if he they was they purposely just like fucked with us, man. No, it's like uh, if I, I know was... I'm not the only one who feels that way, so I feel good. You know what you should yep. do? You, sh- you should just not watch any more Marvel. There you go. Cancel culture. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Just cancel the MCU at this point. But, uh, you know, like, I get it. Like, if he is a random guy, how did he get those super seized powers? Or was it just an illusion, like you said? Because, you know, it's, I don't know. It's kind of strange. No pun intended. I, kind of, Doctor. Strange. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't that, know, man. That, that line threw me for a loop. You know, you're more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme. I'm like, oh my god, dude, this motherfucker's gonna. Strange has got some work to do, man. You know, fuck. It would have been cool to have like a maybe a post credit scene alluding to like he senses something or finds out about Wanda, but they must have a good reason why they're saving him. So, you know, it is what it is. They didn't want to pay him. I don't know. Hey, what yeah, you, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so probably. on a scale, what, what's your what's your on a scale of one to ten for the whole series? Actually, give me your give, scale of one to ten for the last episode, and give me your scale of one to ten for the entire series. Okay, for the last episode, I'm gonna go a I'm gonna go an eight, just because that eight is kind of propelled by the just the incredible acting and the writing and the way they closed out Wanda and Vision's story. You know, I don't really care about all the other side characters, right. but right. as far as bringing it to a close, I, I thought it was very well put together and a nice resolution. So I'd give it an eight as a season as a whole, probably eight point five. Arturo. If, if we, oh sorry. Go ahead, Zach. No, no, no. I was just gonna say if we're counting, you know, halves, I'd just say eight point five, if not just eight as well. I I'd, I'd give the the finale an eight and I'd probably give this series an eight too i really really yeah. enjoyed it. Be, it because it was so different yeah it was so different from yeah. everything we've yeah. everything we've seen um you know i know people didn't didn't like the uh the, cor- the campiness and corniness of the beginning but i loved it something totally yeah. fucking tell me so different because you know what's yeah. coming right <clears throat> up next yeah is yeah. the most action I, I just have a feeling that yeah Winter it, it Soldier is. and falcon is just going to be all action scenes you know, not that many. The guys don't have that. No one involved has like superpowers, so you're not going to be yeah. seeing superpowered stuff. It's just going to be guns and. I, I think it's going to have you know. more of a Winter Soldier, Civil War type action. Yeah. Feel, you know, I think yeah. it's going to be great. I can't wait for it, honestly. Mm-hmm. You know, and if there's one thing I've learned is I'm not going to watch countless theory videos. I know, <laughs> yeah, you will. I know, I know with WandaVision, yeah, you the, the fans built these theories up so hardcore that some of them just can't even process what what happened. You know, they're just so in disbelief. You know, it's like, you can't you can't do that, man. You can't let theories ruin your fucking sh- experience. Well, so, I, 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 I stand with Soldier. Guys, so. I'm just going to enjoy it. Yeah. Well, I gave the last episode a seven. 
but the overall series, I'll, I'll, I'll rest it with an eight to a potential eight and a half. I, re, I really overall really enjoyed it. I thought they did a really great job. Like I said, it's yeah. just a couple of things that are just, eh, just chipping away at me. But that's just that's just my own, my own. Maybe the maybe faults. the fans the fanboys will riot. Marvel Studios. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Hey, you never know, man. I mean, I enjoyed I, it, but yeah, mm. I don't see, I don't see why they would. You know, I think a lot of people enjoyed it, but I could see, I could see the complaints. I, I could see why people are a little underwhelmed and disappointed. But I just personally looked at it as, you know, regardless of the Monica shit, the Pietro shit, the Hayward shit, I, I just loved the Wanda and Vision story. You know, the connection, like just that last scene when they're saying goodbye is just so powerful. You know. Yeah, and if, if she is not up for an Emmy this year, I don't know what to think. That's when we riot. She yeah, I think that'll be one of the biggest snubs in history. Yeah, she, I mean, for she's her, good. She's good. Push, yeah. She pushed the fifties thing, the sixties thing, mm-hmm. modern day, the action, all in what like seven, eight episodes. Jeez, I can't wait to see what she does in Doctor Strange. Yeah, man. Hey, so wait, what? so when is that coming out? Next is. The next film release is Black, fucking, Black, is Black Widow. Oh, I thought you were talking Black. about Doctor Strange. That's fucking March. That's a year away. Well, but, well, no, yeah. but what's, what, what's, that, what's after Black Widow, or supposedly? What's slated for after Black Widow? Is it so it Two? goes... Or Spider-Man. I think, I think so it goes Shang-Chi. Falcon. It's Falcon, Winter Soldier, and then Black Widow in May. And then Loki starts in June. I don't care. Shang- I'm, talking about, I'm talking about movies, not, not oh, series. Uh, Shang-Chi in July. And of, then, this, of this year. Yes, this year, Ooh. July. Eternals is in November, and the Spider-Man 3 is in December. So, And they're saying like Spider-Man 3 is part two of the Wanda multiverse trilogy, but I don't think Wanda's going to be in that. But I know Doctor Strange is going to be in Spider-Man 3. I would so imagine Doctor Strange is maybe somewhere that's the movie in the Eternals where he, as well. Wouldn't you think maybe, there's a lot of time with that art or no? Potentially the, with the art. The Eternals? I think Strange would have a... Uh, they're nah, saying a young. A they're saying a young Thanos can show up in the Eternals. Maybe that'd be nah, interesting. This is this is going to be an origin film for the Eternals. Oh, okay. So, that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, I could see in Spider Man Three, Strange, maybe in that movie is where he kind of senses something's going on with Wanda, and maybe she does something off screen, or maybe she's in the fucking movie. I don't know. And she does something in the multiverse starts because you know there's fucking rumors flying around that all these previous Spider Man people are coming in. So so I don't know, but. Yeah, well, if every, if everything holds, we'll have four MCU movies this year. I could That's care less about. That'd be I a great year. About the other Spider Man, I you know it's. If I they're going to bring anybody back. They got to bring back Peter Parker. Yeah, like I don't. <laughs> it's it's not going to ruin the movie for me if Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. It's, I don't. Right. I don't really. I just it'd be want cool, Spider but. Pig. Yeah, <laughs> Spider Pig. That, <laughs> yeah, that I can get on board with. That'd Maybe? be pretty dope. Or uh, uh, Spider Gwen. That'd be cool. Yep. Yeah, that'd be dope, man. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, that was I, 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 that was a good show. I enjoyed it. I had fun. Have you guys have you got heard that people were were asking and hope hoping uh for a spinoff series on uh, the FBI agent from One Division? Jimmy, oh. yeah. James Wu. Yeah. Jimmy Wu. Rick Flair Wu. Yeah, <laughs> I, had, I had heard something about that. <laughs> and Darcy, I had heard something about Darcy too. Uh, Darcy and Jimmy, like a X Files esque or something, you know. Well, the beauty of, of Darcy's character is she can cut, she can bring her back in any series. You know, yeah. she could, she's like a, you know, like the inve- the the scientist, the geek, about you know, that could figure everything out. Mm-hmm. They could bring her back in the Thor. Obviously, she's got relationships there. They could always refer back to her, almost like a Q. Yeah. I, it was just it would kind of make sense to, for her to be in the next Thor, because Jane's and Natalie Portman's coming back for that. Why would Darcy not? Unless they're not working together anymore. She's got to be in there somewhere, dude. Yeah, I would figure, especially after WandaVision, because they're filming Thor right now. I would assume if I was Tyke, I'd be like, "Damn, dude, Darcy fucking blew up. She's back in the spotlight. Why? Well, not she's been in every Thor movie except Ragnarok. So that's what I'm saying. Like, why not? If she wasn't originally in Thor: Love and Thunder, I was like, if I was Tyke, I'd be like, "Shit, let me just write a couple scenes in for her, you know." Yeah, and, she's uh, she's definitely a fan favorite. Yeah, dude. I I you know, the first two Thors, she really wasn't that. I didn't really care about Darcy, but WandaVision made me like her a lot more. You know, I, and uh, same with Jimmy Woo. I liked him in Ant Man, but this show made me love him even more. So, yeah. it's, fucking character development was really good in the show. 
for all those guys. Yeah, and Monica too. Especially like, Ralph Boner. What a what an yeah. awesome job they did with that. I and like Monica that. too. Like I watched uh, Captain Marvel again last week, and all the scenes with Maria and Monica, and it just hit so much different in a better way because of Wandavision. It's like, man, I kind of can't wait for Captain Marvel too. That's going to be cool. Speaking of Captain Marvel, Zach. Hmm. Oh God. Go really? Ahead. <laughs> really? Go your ahead. little your little post this week about Wanda, and you jumped on the bandwagon. El Wanda could de- could destroy Thanos, and Captain Amer- Captain Marvel got her ass stomped. Go back and watch the videos, please. I did. I did. I Thanos did. had the full Infinity Gauntlet, and she stopped him from snapping by herself. Come on, that was amazing. He did one stone. Arts Internet's cutting out, it looks like. Yeah, he'll come back. No, it's probably better that he just yeah. stops talking. <laughs> that was fake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was us going like, Aww. Yeah, I think Wanda heard you and she kind of froze the the. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I get it. You know, I get what you're saying, of course. You know, I'm not going to deny it. Yeah. You know, she obviously that's why they brought her in because she has one of the best chances of stopping him. So, yeah, you know, that, I get that, it. that's a cool little Thanos move, though, to drop the power stone in his other hand. Yeah, that was dope. Mm-hmm. And just completely bodied her, you know, halfway across she, the. Yeah. She's man. You notice we never saw her again, so she must have got knocked <sighs> way the fuck on. You know, that was crazy. But um, all right, What's man. Up, on guys? that note, yeah. On that note, uh, man, I'm so glad to have you on, Art. We need to have you on with us more. This has been fun. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. We'll get more Thank into this shit. Thank you, nerds. Excelsior. Excelsior, man. Later, y'all. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.